Hi, this is George Woodbury from the College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and this is the fifth in a series of six videos to help my students review for their final exam in elementary algebra. This chapter covers factoring and solving quadratic equations by factoring. Let's begin. Uh, first problem we have here uh, involves factoring by grouping. When you factor, always look to see if there's a common factor to all of the terms. Here we can see that there's no number or variable that's a common factor other than the number 1. So I count up the terms and I notice that there are 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. This type of uh, polynomial is ideal to try factoring by grouping. And the way that works is we break this up into two separate binomials. I look at the first pair and I'm looking for a common factor and I notice that there's a common factor of 2x squared that I can take out of both of these. I look at the second grouping and I can see that the common factor here is 5. So I'm going to go ahead and factor those two out. Uh, when I divide out the 2x squared I get x minus 6. When I factor out the 5 I also get x minus 6. Notice that the two groupings have a common factor of x minus 6. I can pull that out to the front and in the second set of parentheses I'll put the leftovers 2x squared plus 5. Keep in mind you can always check your factoring by multiplying these expressions back out. Uh, next problem we have two terms I look for a common factor first and when I try to divide 392 by 8 I notice that 8 goes in evenly so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide out or factor out that common factor of 8 and I still have two terms. When you have two terms, uh, we want to look for difference of squares first. And I notice it was a subtraction here. If that doesn't work, then we look for difference of cubes. 49 is on my list as a perfect square. 49 is 7 to the second power. Obviously, x squared is a square, so I have a difference of squares. To factor a difference of squares, uh, remember that it's going to be the first plus the second times the first minus the second. The common factor of 8 stays in front the whole way through the problem. So I'm left with 8 times x plus 7 times x minus 7. Uh, here we have a trinomial that has a leading coefficient of 4. I cannot factor 4 out of these three terms. So this is one of the ones that we've done in my class by trial and error. I take a look at the first term, 4x squared, and I know that that's either going to be x times 4x or 2x times 2x. I look at the last term, 10, and I know that's either going to be 1 times 10 or 2 times 5. Now I'm going to mix and match each pair for 4x squared with each pair for 10 until I run into the right factor. Um, Here's x and 4x with 1 and 10 in both orders, and with 2 and 5 in both orders. Here's 2x and 2x with 1 and 10, and 2 and 5. And I want to make a point here. Notice that the original trinomial had no common factors. That means that a binomial factor can't have a common factor either, and I'm going to be able to eliminate a lot of these possibilities. Uh, 4 and 10 have a common factor of 2, this is not possible. Uh, moving down to the bottom of the screen, 4 and 2 have a common factor of 2. Impossible. Uh, 2 and 10 have a common factor of 2, which is impossible. By the way, when your two variable uh, terms are the same, you don't really have to switch the 1 and the 10 because it gives me the same pairing just in the opposite order. Uh, again, eliminated eliminated, 2 and 2 cannot be, and the same thing down here. So I'm left with only two options of the eight possibilities, and I want to focus on the outside product, x times 5 here is 5x, and the inside product, 2 times 4x is 8x. Is there any way I can combine 5x and 8x in such a way that I'll get my goal middle term of negative 13x. Well, if the 8x is negative and the 5x is negative, they'll add to be negative 13x. 
The only way 8x can be negative is if this is a negative 2. The only way 5x can be negative if this is a negative 5. And uh, I believe that's my result. x minus 2 times 4x minus 5. A good check is to multiply the two constants. Negative 2 times negative 5 is equal to positive 10. So there's the uh, factoring for that trinomial. If this one didn't work, we would have tried the other one. If that was our last option and it didn't work, then the polynomial is prime. All right, on to a difference of cubes. I have two terms. This is not a difference of squares because the exponent is odd. Also, 216 is not a, a square, but it is a cube. I can rewrite these two terms as a cubed minus 6 cubed. To factor a difference of cubes, there's a binomial factor and a trinomial factor. To get the binomial factor, a minus 6, all we do is drop the cubes. To get the trinomial factor, I'm going to write the first term, a, three times, a, a, a. I'm going to write the second term, 6, three times as well. This is a shortcut way for remembering the formula. I'm going to group them in pairs. a times a is a squared. a times 6 is 6a. Six, 6 times 6 is 36. To figure out the signs, I'm going to use the acronym SOAP. S stands for same. That means the sign in the problem is the same as the first sign we write down. O stands for opposite. So the opposite sign goes here. And AP stands for always positive. The last one is always positive. I have a friend who says, factoring a difference of cubes is dirty business. Always use soap. Dude. Uh, moving on to solving a quadratic equation. The first step in any quadratic equation is to make sure both sides are simplified. And in this problem, that means that I'm going to have to multiply x plus 9 times x minus 7. Uh, that's going to give me x squared. Uh, negative 7x and 9x becomes positive 2x. And finally, 9 times negative 7 is negative 63. If you have an equation that has an x squared term in it, you want to get everything on one side equal to 0. So I need to move the 55. And I'm going to add it to both sides. Negative 63 plus 55 is negative 8. Uh, once we've done that, we want to factor that left side. That trinomial is simply x plus 4 times x minus 2. Now we have to solve this. And the way we do it is by setting the first factor equal to 0 with the word or and then the second factor equal to 0. To solve this first equation, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, so x equals negative 4. Uh, solve the second equation, I'm going to add 2 to both sides, so x equals 2. And we finish off by writing this in solution set notation, negative 4 comma 2. Last problem is a word problem. It says the length of a rectangular swimming pool is twice its width, and the area covered by the pool is 800 square feet. Find the length and width. Uh, recall that for a rectangle, the area is equal to the length times the width. So I'm going to build a table of unknowns. And since the length is given in terms of the width, I'm going to let the width be represented by the letter W. And I'm going to build up the length in terms of that. Now it does say that the length is twice its width. So twice means multiply by 2. The length is 2w. So my equation, again, length times width equals area. Uh, put in 2w for the length, w for the width, and 800 for the area. Now I have my equation. Multiply 2w by w, 2w squared. I have a squared variable, so I need to get everything to one side equal to 0 on the other. Right? Subtract the 800 so it moves to the left-hand side. 
common factor of 2, I'll divide that out. And w squared minus 400 is a difference of squares because 400 is 20 squared. So when I factor, um, I'm worried about or looking at the two variable factors. The first one, w plus 20, if I set that equal to 0, I get the solution negative 20. You cannot have a negative width, so I'm going to omit this one. Do the same with the other factor, w minus 20 equals 0. Add 20 to both sides. That seems like a plausible width. So coming back to my table, the width is 20. The length is 2 times 20, or 40. And in both cases, those are in feet. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave a comment on this video. Or you can reach me through the contact page on my website, georgewoodbury.com. Thanks. Good luck. Bye.